Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? On the water's edge in downtown Cato Paphos Harbour. Now, I'm going to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Ochin Grasivia Labouf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. Miss Tracy, can you imagine? I've done two jobs together now. Talking, saying hello, everybody, and asking what time are they closing? Um, because you were asking... The so this is the craft centre yes. in downtown Kedipapas yes. Harbour. What time? Yes, 11. 11 o'clock. Yes. There we go. So Tracy, Lady Tracy, the superstar, the blonde beauty, the dancing beauty, has brought, well, a bit of a feature piece, to be honest. It's the most expensive necklace in the pathos, I think. But wow, it's certainly a signature piece, and you never know, we might get her to wear it. Especially for you on camera in her next little cameo appearance on the little channel known as Marika and, and Me. And look what I've got for you, Tracy. Oh my goodness, two of them, two bowls. Two round ones for the face is the best. You can't imagine how nice and smooth the face uh, becoming after these two bowls. Yes, and you can buy them from the superstar, the most famous man in the world, Mr. Chris. If you're watching, Miss Ina, and of course, Mr. Kev, he's missing you like crazy. Come on, Graciela Booth, let's go and have a look what's going on in the downtown of Papas Harbour. The main event is coming up. So this is the area, by the way, if you understand exactly where we are, where you come in if you've got a boat, and that's where it gets launched into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And what a beautiful, beautiful day it is today. One thing's for sure, that sky is looking blue. Well, that sea is looking blue. Mr. Paul, well, you may have noticed, I have a bit of a fetish for blue, and guess what? Today, I'm dressed head to toe in blue. So all that's missing is... You, of course you. So get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy. That's because we all learn patiently. Yes, Mr. Julian, I know. Wait. He's a lord. Just for you. Uh, for me, Mr. Ossizia. Mr. Ossizia. He's forgiving me. He's, He's going to forgive you anything, that's for sure. So a very, very Calimera to Lord Jason and, of course, our superstar all the way, his partner in crime, and that, of course, is Lady Rachel. And, of course, they're back from downtown Egypt and they're probably in damp York, but we hope there's some sunshine going on. And a big, big shout out to some of the superstars I like to watch now and again. You know, if your name is Lord Julian, you've got a beauty in your life and you're on the honeymoon of a lifetime. And of course, that's Lady Bridget. Well, Kelly Kelly Mera to you. That's the girl who does the jewellery, by the way, yes. who was standing there having a cigarette. Yeah. And she's, uh, well, so she, quite uh, a little bit richer. Tracy did buy it from Yes, from her, her. yeah. Yeah, wow. she did indeed. What's, have you seen it? What she well, it's going to look. It may still be on show, but this girl makes them. And a lot of them are one-offs, if you understand me. But uh, Tracy was describing it to me, and the one she's bought, she's she's fed a fair chunk of change for it, that's for sure. So, no, it's not on show. But it was similar to that one, you can see, but is in it? the purple is what okay. it was. So this is all handmade jewellery by the young lady that was outside there. Her father sometimes attends to the store. She buys all of the bits and bobs, obviously. Maybe some of it comes from China, and perhaps some of it is from more local. And then she works her magic. And to be honest, I think she's a very, very talented young girl indeed. So I want to come into the craft centre. It's closing every night now at 11 o'clock. But of course, at the end of the month, it's closing for good. So then you've got to go and hunt them down in their shops. And of course, they've all got shops in the old town. So there we go. Tracy's going to come and collect her gift that little bit later and cross that girl's palm with a couple of bob which is why she's got a bit of a smile on her face just sitting over there she's a star in the downtown kid of harbour and they're all waiting especially for you do you know mr paul it's very very nice to buy something like that because first of all it's handmade and it's not going to be two or three the same it's always unique and always a special maybe one or two the most she will do but even those two will be different yes yes exactly that's what i'm saying a bit like you grace the booth apparently there's two girls coming to Papos who are identical twins but we know it's a rouge. Girls. Well, yes, but it's not. It's Lord Jeremy and Lord Simon. And they're bringing in blonde wigs. Because that's what they're going to come as. They're going to dress up as Svetlana and somebody else. Tatiana, I think it is. 
Have you read the comments? No. No. I well, miss and they're going to prance in and around the downtown Kedapapas Harbour. And the boys. The boys are, yeah. In blue miniskirts and high heels and all those kind of things. Pains. Pains. Well, they are a couple of pains, yes. Oh, I can imagine them. And they're from damp downtown Cardiff. And the reason why I mention the boys is because there are three plinths, especially. Look at that. That could be for Lord Jeremy. And that one could be for Versace <laughs> Receipt Le Boeuf. And of course, the one over there could be for Lord Simon. <coughs> wow. Great view out across the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And on top of that, I'm going to get your bottoms wiggling, that's for sure. The Nortia restaurant, here it is, on the downtown Ketapapas Harbour. It's one of the new restaurants that's opened up and it's waiting especially for you. And they've got a great, great menu, by the way. If you want a pork chop, if you want some fish, there's all sorts of bits and gold. Pesto, look at that. Wow. That's caught my eye. That's obviously octopus at its very, very best. And there's some kids' meals. And of course, they've got that. And uh, well, that's got my name written all over it, that's for sure. What is that one? American pancakes and crepes. I got a feeling it's the top one, is it? The maple magic. A patnix. A patnix. I want a patnix. I want pancakes. Pancake stacks with blueberries and maple cypria. My English is confused tonight. Of course, Ibi. <laughs> well, um, I know that they are doing very, very nice dishes. This is hot. this is true, and most of the people come in here for the seafood. Seafood always, always very, very fresh. Um, the owner, on himself, is watching that very uh, fact that the uh, seafood should be very fresh. Well, he's indeed, yeah. Spiros is the actual man that owns it. There's another partner in the business, obviously. He can't run all of his restaurants. And he's the man with his finger in the pie, of course, at sale of the castle. So he's the major partner. And then there's directors involved that, uh, well, make sure that you get a great, great time indeed. Now, there's some more renovations going on in the downtown Kid of Paphos. These are the three metal boxes. They've come in for an awful lot of criticism. But I think when the plan is all finished, I've seen that plan, these are going to fit in absolutely beautiful. When all the lights are on and there's tables and chairs in there and the restaurant to the rear is open and there's a few shops going to be in there as well, you're going to get a great, great dining experience. And, of course, that roof is going to keep the sun off you and the drizzle off you as you feast your eyes and digest the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. So... To the rear wrist is going to be a seafood restaurant extraordinaire, the Ocean Basket. Wow. And it's going to be a big boy, that's for sure. And the rumour has it that just over yonder, there may even be a couple of little boutiques and those kind of things, which is great news because Auching Receiver Booth, to be honest, does need one or two boutiques. And hopefully they'll be open for November because there's two gumbarrows coming in from damp Cardiff and they're bringing lots and lots of cash. And if those two boutiques are open, well, it's so much closer than the Paphos Mall, isn't it, boys? So, so much closer indeed. You're again scaring these poor boys. Please stop doing it. Otherwise, they will change their mind and go into Tikmandu. Tikmandu. Where? We can relocate to Tikmandu if you'd like. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Tikmandu. Marika and me in Tikmandu. Well, we've got a few ticks on us at the moment, that's for sure. But anyway, check it out in the comments. There's one at the moment. Uh, he's a bit of a small one. He is indeed. I've told him in the comments. But uh, he'll keep coming back because obviously he's a little bit stupid. And I welcome you, Mr. Bookmark. Keep coming back. And then I can slap the living delights out of you live on YouTube. And all the other people can read the comments and understand that you are a complete and utter idiot. Anyway, without further ado, let's go and introduce you to... The superstar known as Mr. Dexter. He's pruning his beard. Look at this. This is what he's doing. No, he's not. He's putting his tobacco away. But I thought he was pruning his beard. Christine, both take over the camera work because you know a man called Justin. Justin. Which Justin? Look at his pockets. Our dearest people. A bit closer so you can hear No, 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 no. I'm showing your backside. Your verandas. Yeah, That's don't damage those sweets. And of course, Miss I've Sarah. All the way in downtown Hampshire. How many from? Only three, but I can do them once. Only three? So he's promised you three. He's promised me three. 
You know these are mine. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy them nicely. Yes. Perhaps Zonny will get one as well. Hopefully. Yeah. We're going to use these. Well, they're I'll quite soft, apparently. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. Try one, just in case they are nice. Ooh. Just in case they're nice. Justin, I'll have a bite. Oh my God, don't break one of your two <laughs> tools. Luckily, you've got 32. You got? How, many like? teeth, how many tools you've got? Six. Broken. <laughs> That's not too bad. Enjoy. Enjoy. Now we're going to go around the harbour okay. and we're going to distribute all of that. He's had three. Thank you, Mr. Dexter. Thank you. Where's Ulala? Uh, he's no longer required at the present moment. Oh, at the present time. moment. Oh, well. We'll give his. Weekends and He'll be here. Tuesday and Thursday. He will right, be. okay. We'll give your rock to someone else. Sorry, Ulala. La, la, la. See you later, Dexter. Here we go. We're on the downtown Ketapathos Promenade. That was the man in charge of Stevie's Restaurant. Could be the best restaurant in the world. This restaurant coming up now, guess what? It's called Sail at the Castle. And this is the big boy on the harbour area. And the boss himself is in. In fact, the big boss is in as well. That is Mr Spiros with his back to us. And the director in charge is Mr Michael just over there. And of course, that is the cocktail bar. And it's a great, great cocktail bar indeed. Now, I wonder, do you think Mr. Spiros would like to stick a rock? To do what? Would he like a stick of rock? Why not? Well, if you want. Shall we go and give him a stick of rock? We'll go and give him a stick of rock. Here we are. We'll go and give him a gift live on camera. Sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Mike. That's a present for you all the way from England. Mr. Spiros, that is a present for you all the way from England. Eat it very nicely. Absolute star. So this is the star, Mr. Spiros. Hold on a minute. It's not a cigar, it's rock. Don't try and light it. Eat it. But be careful, otherwise you break your teeth. Be careful. We're going to need a new dentist. Yeah, we need a new dentist. Hold on a minute. Where's George? He's in there somewhere, isn't he? Where is George? Where is he? No, that's not George. No, that's not the greatest barber in the world. So, that's the man in charge, Mr. Mike. And if you're not happy with him, that's the man in charge, Mr. Spiros. There we are. So, you know where to come and get a stick of rock, that's for sure. Sail at the castle, could be the biggest, could be the best. It certainly does a great, great job indeed. And lots of people come back here over and over and over again. And they say, that it really, really is a great, great restaurant indeed. Now, I think, to be fair, we've got a bit of a grumpy man over there. But what do you think? Do you think he might accept? Do you think he might accept? There we are. Let's give him a present live on camera. Rock. So you bite it, but be careful. Be careful. Be careful with your teeth. You see, he's not that grumpy. He's uh, no, smiling. Have a bite now and again. Huh? Have a bite now and again. Taste okay. it. Taste okay. it. Tonight Lovely. With, my wine. with your wine. There we are. So that's the man in charge of the set of the castle. Finally, we've got him to speak on camera. Now, watch a master at his job. The most handsome man in the world. His name is Mr. Emmanuel. Yes, Ugumbo. Would you like a present? What present? You don't want it? No. I remember last year McDonald's loved it. I took it and I get to So you it. take it I from McDonald's. I don't, I don't. No, no, you didn't fancy it, but yes. McDonald's absolutely loved it. Definitely. So please don't eat it, give it McDonald's. George, would you like a piece of authentic rock? No. Why not? Go on, try it. But be, why, careful why of your, be careful of your teeth. Be careful of your teeth. Now. What is that? That is rock all the way from England. But be careful with your teeth. This is how you do it. Watch this. So I'll show you how you do it. So you unwrap it. Excuse the camera work for a moment. And there it is. And you get it. You have to break it. Yeah. But be careful you don't break your teeth. Layla. A special gift. All the way from downtown England for you. But don't break your teeth. Give it to one of your children. You're absolutely stunned. Like you're thinking, what do these stupid English people eat? There we are. Downtown Ketapapas Harbour, this is one of the best restaurants by the way, and this is the Gilalamo, and that's the rear of house just over there. I wonder if Mr. Marios would like a piece of rock. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and see if he wants one. 
because these are all courtesy of the superstar, Mr. Justin. That's J Mac to you and me. Let's go and see if he wants one. He's on his phone, but you never know. We may be able to tempt him with a little piece of rock. Would you like a piece of English rock? I'm okay, thank you very much. I thought much. you'd say that because you're a clever man, because that's going to break your teeth. <laughs> we'll save it for Andreas tomorrow. Yeah. You busy? Yeah, busy. Always busy. Yeah. And as usual, the best dressed man in Paphos. Thank you very he much. really is. When he comes from behind that counter, he's very, very swanky. And if you remember in the previous video, he's offered to grow his moustache back, which means he will look like a 1970s porn star. And he looked absolutely spectacular. Thanks, Maria. You are a star. He's a star. He is a star. He is welcome back. There we are. Now, I threatened your brother, or was it you, with bringing every child in England to eat that ice cream? Okay. But luckily for you, they're all back in school. Yeah. Uh, so, you're lucky, 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 lucky. That's Marios at the Pelican Restaurant. He's a star. Don't forget to come in and get that special, special drink. And if you like classic motorbikes, go and have a chat with him as well, because he's got one or two in his collection. I think at the moment he's got seven, and most of them he's restored literally from the ground up himself. So there's one of them. There's the Kawasaki. Oh my God, I think it's changed its look, by the way. Oh, I think he may have done something, mightn't he? Well, he's always tampering with them, and then he updates them with putting the new lights on, and probably got new clocks, and I would imagine it's a lot faster than it was in the olden days as well. But anyway... If you want to come and see some classic bikes, come and have a chat with Mr. Marios at the Gilalamo restaurant. Main event's coming up. Here we are. Pelican restaurant. Doesn't get much better. Here he comes. Let's see if we can tempt the man known as Athlon the Saturn. It's a present for you. But be careful of your teeth. Yes, we're going to offend you. There we are. Let's go and see if Addis would like a piece, shall we? I wonder. I wonder if Addis would like one. Princess Addis, would you like a present all the way from England? It's called English Rock. Yes, why not? There we are. But be careful when you bite into it, if you understand. Because it's quite solid. So be careful with it. Otherwise, you'll be breaking your teeth. We'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, lovely, lovely. Our table's always reserved. If you're looking for us, come to the downtown Kedapapas Harbour. Hold on. Whoa, those are nice shoes. Look at that. Those are quality shoes on Princess Addis, who's the star of the Pelican restaurant and the Pelican's hiding in the background. Now, hold on a minute. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the little gangster with a chuckle. And there he is. He's a star. Mr. Paul, I have a present for you tonight. Good, you've got a present for me. Hold on a minute. I've got a present for you. I've got presents for you. Now, can I have a word with you? You've left your pyjamas on again. Yeah, I yeah. steal it from your pyjamas Did you? When Did you? you? There we are. What were you, doing my, what were you doing in my bedroom? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Now, the world wants to know. This, you can see you got your pyjamas on. They know that. Your jeans are quite expensive. We know that. But they want to see your shoes. So come and have a look. Only Mr. Paul is going to see my shoes. have a look. Baby Fawellen, brace yourself. Because those are unbelievably cheap shoes indeed. They can't get much cheaper than that. How are you doing, Gumbaro? You all right? Very yeah. good. Gumbaro. Do you want one of these? Do you want one? I want for yeah, sure. Yeah, go on, take it. Do you want two? Sweet. Well, it is. It's like a sweet rock. It's good, huh? But it's very hard, so be careful when you bite it. Otherwise, you'll look like a gangster who lost because like your teeth will be all pulled out. <laughs> Thank you See very you much. later. See you later. See you Christine Lebeuf has been accosted live on camera. I understand that bit. We found a husband. I think I've lost. There we go. He's got more money than me. What's your name, sir? I don't remember. He doesn't remember. I've never seen him. Oh, it's Brian. You all right? How are you doing? You all right? Got the wrong hat on, haven't you? You were smarter last time as well. Yeah, yeah, it's the wrong hat. And you're in the wrong place. Would you like a piece of rock? No. We've given a few away though, haven't we? We've got to be careful now because we've got two more restaurants to go. Have yeah, you come like to see us or are you just going for a walk? No, just going for a going walk. For a walk. Yeah. Didn't think you were dumb enough to come and see us. Now the, the walkway's open. Mm. How's the bowls doing? Yeah, okay. Are you still there on a Saturday? We're there every day. Maybe. Every day? Do you want to go and play bowls? You like bowls, don't you? Well, she likes things anyway. So, 
to see you in a bit, Brian. Thanks very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's a, a blast from the past. If you go hunting back, we did a video on the bowls at the I can't remember what the resort's called, but it's a big, big resort out there, and they've got a bowls out there and a bowls green little bowls. You understand me? And we went there, we made a little special video. Go and Google it, you'll find it, and we had one hell of a laugh, that's for sure. Vasivi, what a blast from the past. Do you know what? When I when he's <laughs> Hold on a minute. We got him. Don't hide. There he is. He's a sir. That is Sir Matt. And of course, that's the beauty known as Lady Sally. Have you come to see us? Uh, and to get food. And to get food. I know what you've done. You've come to try and see if I can get Mario Steinman to close, aren't you? Yes, please. Who took the picture? Was that your dad who took the picture? Oh, he took the picture. What an idiot. So now you know she's been to the diamond shop. So you've got no excuse? Yeah, but I distracted her by taking a photo. Hmm, he is quite clever then. Look at the look. Look at the look. Look at the look. If I was you, I'd make an honest woman of her. She is honest, but I'd make an honest woman of her. Otherwise, otherwise, there's a big, big, blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. I've got some concrete and we can make some wellies. <laughs> now she's laughing. Go on, get in the middle. Let's get these into the screenshot. These are the superstars. That is Sir Matt Dyers, and that is Lady Sally Briars, who desperately wants to be Lady Sally Dyers, <laughs> but she doesn't want to die just yet. You have a great evening. We'll be back in about 20 minutes, that's for sure. Absolute stars in the downtown Kedo Papos Harbour. That young lady has been with us for a long, long time. If she remembers correctly, she was number 27. So she's obviously even more crazy than you. We'll see you in the booth. Andreas is here. This is a superstar. Andreas, can we give you a present? Yes. Would you like a bit of English rock? Yes, rock. I know the rock when I was in England. Right. Don't break your yes. teeth, okay? I buy this from Wales. Yes. Yakita. Yakita Boyo. Yes. There we are. That's Rithin Rock from North Wales. But I know it's not, actually. Justin has a habit of lying. Anyway, Theo's restaurant could be the busiest restaurant. A lot of people like it. And the last restaurant on the block. Hold on a minute. Say thank you to Justin. Justin, thank you to Justin. But tomorrow I give you a present for me to you and your wife. Lovely. Thanks very much, Andres. He's the guy in charge of Theo's restaurant, by the way. The last restaurant on the block in the main event is the King's Restaurant. Let's go and have a look at them and see what's going on. Well, it's the first or the last on this route, isn't it? Let's go and have a look with them, see what they're going on. King's Restaurant could be the busiest, could be the best. And they're waiting for you especially. Now, that man is the greatest waiter in the world. So, would you like a present? Thank you. All the way from England, that is, especially for you. And we've got, my pleasure, Christos, hold on, especially for you. But be careful, yeah, 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 but be careful when you snap it that you don't break your teeth. And, of course, we've got one especially for the prince in charge, Andres. Happy birthday. Fizzy Cola. All the way from downtown England. Really? Yeah. Brought by one of our family members and they wanted us to distribute it to all of the restaurant owners. Okay, I will add it. Of course you are. But be careful with your teeth when you snap it because it, uh, it's well, very sweet, sweet it's quite sweet yeah is I've got it, one on the go is it uh, how you call it uh, full of sugar that's what you're thinking have another one there you are no you're no, sure yes. so I've got one left like there we I go will, I've got know. one left especially for me that's what look at that spare ribs with chips. with chips and a nice little feta cheese salad wow King's Restaurant at its very very best indeed that was spare ribs. Spare ribs it was. Yes. Uh, under the barbecue sauce. Yes. Wow. Uh, do you know that I noticed their dishes are so representative, by the way. And all people, the other day, uh, one of the family members of us, they were here. And not only one couple and many, they always mentioned the food that we had in the King's. It was unbelievably tasty. It is. It's one of the best restaurants in downtown Kedapathos without a doubt. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe and perhaps come back for a little bit more of our complete and utter madness. And if you'd like a stick of rock, well, there's one waiting here especially for you. The first person that walks up to me and say, I'd like that stick of rock can get it. This is the dancing, prancing girl. 
Don't forget to go through to our about page where you could consider to buy us a coffee or two. Or become one of our super superstar members at only 10 euros a month. And of course, keep us afloat that little bit longer. You can also help us out on the super thanks. Yes, Grisivi. They go in by the groups, or huge groups of the fishes, group of the fishes, about hundreds maybe. They go in together, they swim over there, around that ball, and then all together, they go on, they go on somewhere. They're gone. Well, they're attracted by the lights, and of course, a little bit of food that perhaps gets no, chucked into the water. No, they've just gone somewhere all together, beautiful. There we are. And now they've done a runner on what can be better than just over yonder, which is the downtown Kedipathos Harbour Promenade. It's looking pretty blue. All that's missing is you. Thanks for watching. And what a smell of the fishes. Salty, smelly, nice sea. Uh, sea smell. This amazing smell, by the way. I would like to kiss you, to hug you, to cuddle you, and to tell you many, many thanks for watching us. And many, many thanks from the bottom of our two Thanks for watching, and of course we'll see you again sometime very, very soon in the downtown Ketapapos Harbour and Promenade area. If you want to come over and say hello, please, please do. If anything, the videos get that little bit better when you are involved. Thanks to Mr. Brian, he's a superstar, and all the people, all the characters in the downtown Ketapapos Harbour. And a big, big thank you to my mates all the way in downtown Warrington, Mr. Justin, and of course his partner in crime, lady tracy and a big shout out to sophie and to jj and hopefully miss sophie your boyfriend will learn how to book a holiday and next time you go to spain you won't fly into portugal and have to walk across the bridge. by the way should we go to mr brian to play with his balls on that note we'll call it a night thanks for watching she's dancing she's prancing especially for john ricey on a wall and you never know one of these days, if your name's Mark Brown, she might fall in, especially for you. Thanks for watching.